Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let us discuss about the broadband dual polarization and stable beam with slot antenna feed by U-shaped microstrip line. Let us discuss about the abstract of the product. Satellite technology is developing force and the application for satellite technology are increasing all the time. Not only all satellites can be for radio communication and many more applications. The rectangular patch loader with U-slot antenna is designed for WLAN and WiMAX application. The slot antenna concept has been used in patch antenna design to maximize the return loss and reduce the antenna size. The dielectric substrate is 4.4, that is a 4.4 substrate, is used in this uh, fabrication. The return loss bandwidth of the proposed antenna are calculating by using the MATLAB software. So in this paper, uh, characterize mode analysis of three empirical design techniques for probe field symmetrically loaded. And then the use slot microstrip patch antenna on a single layer grounded substrate is presented with supporting the experimental data. The first method is a resonant frequency and the second one is a dimensional invariance and third one is a both of the resonant frequency and dimensional invariance. So in both these methods, the optimization of the probe location is necessary for further enhancement of the 10 dB return loss bandwidth because the return loss should be in minus 10 dB only. The third method dimensionally invariant. So the optimally combines the feature of previous two is developed here and so to yield the bandwidth performance with minimal or no probe location optimization and hence is superior to the other two for rapid prototyping. CMA is carried out for the critical parameter such as a substrate electrical thickness, slot width, probe radius and field location variance to access the dominant end lines on the characteristics of u slot microstrip patch antenna. We are, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. First of all the antenna should be designed and calculating the parameters for the design and then assign the center frequency of the particular antenna and then solving the RLC circuit and find the return loss and finally calculate the performance. So I will explain the one by one procedure for the flow diagram. First of all there is the antenna design. So basically the antenna design yeah like this this is a side view representing the layers of the antenna first of all the antenna is in this is a patch and this is a subshade and this is a coaxial probe finally this is a ground plane so the patch of the antenna we draw the microstrip patch or anything else in the patch of the antenna we using the use start and then design the probe it's a subshade subshade more or there are there are many materials here we use f 4 so the f 4 uh, dielectric constant is 4.4 and then the coaxial probe feed is uh, calculating the value of ground plane and then the coaxial probe is uh, analyzing the viewport of the design so that is a calculating by the ground plane so in this antenna design we using this is the subject so this is a patch this is a rectangular patch here we using the use slot that is a single use slot of the antenna uh, in bottom of the subject here we use the coaxial probe feed that is a very useful for the mostly antenna here we use the coaxial probe feed only so that are, uh, that is all about the antenna design and then the calculating parameters for the design in the calculating parameter of the design is uh, that is a critical parameter so that is a substrate electrical thickness slot width probe radius and field location variance um, there are many parameters that is a length width for all the calculating parameters of the design calculating in our MATLAB and then assigning the center frequency normally the frequency is uh, calculating in the antenna uh, center frequency is also known as operating frequency. Here we operating frequency is 1 GHz to 4 GHz antenna. So here we calculate the antenna as 2 GHz as a assign the center frequency. So this is the type of a friend of frequency we calculate assuming F0. F0 is a uh, 2 or uh, related to nearly to the 2 of the antenna. Next is solving the RLC circuit for related to the antenna design. Mostly uh, rectangular patch antenna like the RLC circuit is same or uh, or and l and c that is uh, serially connected in the circuit so that is uh, solving to find uh, resistance inductance and the capacitance so this is the rlc circuit r1 l1 and c1 so resistor inductor and capacitor that's our uh, serially and parallelly connected with the RLC circuit to solve the RLC circuit we find the r1 l1 and c1 the equations are so these are the equation for R1, L1 and C1. So H, uh, H is the substrate thickness likewise. R1 is the resistance and QT is the probability of the function. FR is the center frequency. So these are the description of the equivalent circuit. And then finally we calculated the return loss. Return loss is S11. Um, all over the return loss is always should be less than minus 10 BB. That's only the antenna is to be operating. The return loss calculating by using the solving the RLC circuit. Finally, we are getting the RLC is the 
performance analysis to compare all the results for existing and the proposed so finally calculate the return loss and variation pattern of the antenna so that's all about the flow diagram of the process yeah let us discuss about the running procedure for the product click the main file and run yeah in this bigger one graph this is the frequency that is denoted by in jahats that is 10 power 9 and this is the written loss written loss is a displayed by the db so that is a decibel so 0 minus 10 minus 20 up to minus 50 these are the uh, written loss of the db in the frequency range that is 1 to up to 4 so these are the frequency range in this uh, first is all this is a uh, epsilon r is equal to 4.4 for the dielectric constants for the f of substrate so uh, that will have by uh, getting the plot like this for uh, up to this number this is a minus 10 minus 20 is a minus 30 and for 0 these are the 9 points for the epsilon r 4 4.4 9 point uh, 4.4 and this plotting is for epsilon r is equal to 4.4 so compared to this this is a low written loss so this is a maximum written loss we get epsilon r is equal to 4.4 so this is a description of this figure yeah in this graph uh, that is also getting a written loss but changing the dimension of the rectangular patch so first of all size reduction of the rectangular patch we get this and then uh, we increase the uh, rectangular patch size and we get this graph so s11 is uh, compared to this this one is a very maximize written loss we get and this one is a low written loss and get so, so the frequency is up to jahats and 10 to power 9 and written loss is uh, 0 to up to minus 50 so this this is uh, best performance of this fr4 is equal to 4.4 and then we calculating the three dimensional plot and two dimensional plot three dimensional plot like the radiation pattern for a two dimensional plot that is also a radiation pattern here we click the three dimensional plot So this is the radiation pattern of the graph. So the red is denoted by the high frequency, and yellow and blue and blue and yellow green. So this is the 3D dimension pattern of the radiation pattern. Again, we click the two-dimensional plot. In this two-dimensional plot, we get like this. So this is a two-dimensional plot, uh, like a half wavelength dipole. So at uh, pi is equal to 90 degree. This is the x-axis and this is y-axis. Normally, we get the dimensional plot like this in the MATLAB. For uh, HFSS, we get the complete graph of this. So in this MATLAB, we're getting like this only. So this is at uh, pi is equal to 90 degree. Also, we find also pi is equal to 0 degree or pi is equal to 100 degree. So these are the procedure for the so these are the running procedure for the product thank you for listening this video